Travis Wayne Goodsell. They just held the vote. Congresswoman Green is out of committees. And so now we need to find out which of the six voted for what. Did they vote to have the Speaker of the House assassinated? Or did uh, the uh, lawyers for the defense reach out to them to preserve the church's name? There were 11 Republicans who uh, uh, voted to expel her from the committees, which is more than people expected. But we are at clerk.house.gov votes 202123. This is the actual vote. They already had it online here, which was pretty fast, so that's pretty cool. And now we scroll down, looking for Utah. They're listed alphabetically. And I'm not seeing Utah. <laughs> they must have uh, end of the alphabet letters at the end of their name. Here's one. Curtis. The one who flip flop and an A. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Curtis. Traitor. Seditious. Treason. Oops. Goes against Joseph Smith. One down. Five more to go. My heavens, we're already on the L's. Here we go, more from Utah. <clears throat> Nay, uh oh, he's brand new, isn't he? Oh boy, not looking good for Mormons. Now there's others from Idaho and Arizona. I'll have to pull up my uh, little uh, edited picture to see those other guys that we're missing here. We'll do the Utah ones first. Here we go. Owens. Burgess Owens. Now oh, he betrays Joseph Smith, betrays America. Burgess, you dropped the football. You fumbled. You ran it in for a touchdown for the other team. In the midst of a melody. Utah, Stewart. Oh, yeah, nay. God. And I think the others are from the other states. Yep. So let's pull up that picture, get the other names. In the midst of the melody. There it is. Okay, Andy Biggs. And Mike Simpson. 
Biggs and Simpson. Simpson, Republican from Idaho. Oh, betrays America. It's like they don't even care about the church. All right, Biggs, the last final holdout. The last great white hope for Mormons. Biggs, Republican, Arizona. Nope, a full shutout. All six House of Representatives Mormons are okay with the assassination of the Speaker of the House. They have betrayed America. I'm going to have to leave this up here. I'll get a video made of it. So, there you have it. That's who they uh, follow. The inverted pentagram of both the Republican Party on the elephants and on the Temple Square, Salt Lake City, Utah. That's how you know them, by their signs. So, one thing I'm concerned about is uh, what's I'm getting from the underground grassroots level. Uh, that uh, There's a movement to have states secede from the nation now that Democrats control the government. And uh, with uh, Green Out, it's likely to uh, escalate that situation. Uh, and do you remember the time in the Book of Mormon? When la da 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 So in the Book of Mormon, 3rd Nephi, chapter 7. Ooh, we're getting right before the second coming here. Which is not really the second coming. Alright. Scroll down. Hill because of their sickness. No, we meant it's the beginning, isn't it? Now, uh, the secret combination, which are those who follow the uh, inverted pentagram, which had brought so great iniquity upon the people, did gather themselves together, and did place at their head a man whom they did call Jacob, which in Hebrew is usurper. So kind of uh, an interesting comparison there. <coughs> And uh, so we see that an insurrection takes place among the Nephites as they refuse to accept the current leader. They're in denial of the leader. And so they install their own leader, and he's the insurrectionist, the usurper. And they did call him their king. And he became a king over this wicked band. And he was one of the chiefest who had given his voice against the prophets who testified of Jesus. It's supposed to be Amen, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Paul. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Isaiah says his name is supposed to be Amen. The God Amen. Amen El. Anyway. But yeah, they're purposely entering into a covenant to destroy the government. And we now know Mormons are trying to destroy the government. We had six Mormons, all House of Representatives Mormons in Congress, vote to destroy the government. Because they're part of that secret combination of the inverted pentagram. <clears throat> but this is what I was concerned about is that uh, let's see. 
uh, 30 in first year, they were divided into tribes. This is after uh, Jacob and his secret combination are banished. The remainder of the people are divided into tribes, every man according to his family, kindred, and friends. Now, we don't have that in the United States, do we? We have states. And there's already talk about seceding from the nation. When the Texas guy filed the lawsuit to overthrow the election, Utah, Sean Reyes, showed that he also is a part of this secret combination to overthrow the government by joining in that lawsuit. Governor Herbert, Spencer Cox, who's now Governor Cox, were condemning him, but did not do anything to punish him. Doesn't do any good just to vocalize things. You've got to take action. You've got to hold people accountable. <clears throat> just like the church. They can say that they acknowledge Biden as president, but then they can't go back and say as the whole prophets that others will be celebrating the inauguration. Sort of leaves you guys out, doesn't it, church leaders? But uh, this is a similar comparison with what happened in the Civil War. As the Confederates appointed their own president, Jefferson Davis. And he was their president because they didn't recognize the president of the northern states, the Union. And uh, this is what we're having now. And back then, instead of tribes, it was the North and the South states. And in this situation, we're witnessing a completely different geographical boundary situation. Uh, let's go over that. Uh, that's the election. Yeah, the election shows that if all the red states that voted for Trump, if they secede from the nation, uh, the whole middle section of the United States will split the east and west coasts, uh, which are Democrats. Uh, that's going to be uh, a difficult situation, as uh, commerce will make it tough. And you can know the secret combination group not just by the inverted pentagram, but the way in which they lead. <clears throat> As followers of Lucifer, you will want to identify if they are trying to take away agency of other people. Do conservatives want to take away the agency of other people? Oh, hell yeah! They have been alt-right for all time and all eternity. And it's just the old school Republicans would talk the talk about all oh, Constitution and, and the people, and then the laws they would pass would benefit the rich and punish the poor, punish women, punish blacks, punish gays. And, and yeah, it's like they talk the talk, but they're doing a whole different thing. Like Romney. Like the church. And so, yes, does the church take away agency? Why, sure they do. If you don't understand that, you're not a Mormon. You know nothing about the Mormon church. Born and raised, 50 years, 
I know everything and it scares the church it scares Mormons the only thing Mormons can do is throw out abusive comments to me and put thumbs down because they have no argument to justify the evil the corruption the crime the Satanism the taking away of agency that just swarms this valley because of the church the way they teach Mormons and so yes the primary songs you know I want to be like Jesus choose the right I have two little hands folded snugly and tight <laughs> I don't know if they sing that one anymore <laughs> what they did when I was a kid <laughs> but uh, yeah look out for the the Civil War division as uh, that will be the case I uh, the states that uh, are blue the uh, uprising will be from within uh, because uh, the states will then have to do battle with the traitors in their midst whereas the uh, those who are liberal or don't want anything to do with government especially not having uh, Republican control uh, they're in a tough situation because they'll be forced to leave because again Republicans take away agency they'll lock you up they'll close down their borders force you in force you to conform and comply uh, and so that's you know building the wall that's going to be uh, an interesting consequence but again we are taught that in primary do what is right let the consequence follow battle for freedom and spirit as little kids we do those exaggerations with the beat and tone and, and court, uh, song leaders quickly learn not to play certain songs because it'll provoke the kids <laughs> into mockery <laughs> but uh, yeah we as Mormons are taught to do right we were taught to save America not destroy it like the six did today we were taught to be patriots and step in and save America during this time right now and instead we are all witnesses that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is seeking to overthrow America now we can get into the debate of how they're listening to Russia because they wanted a temple and so Russia wants them to do them a favor though and I've gone over all those instances so yes that is what they're doing but that's why they're not shutting down the church during the coronavirus that's why even though it was a lesser amount it was still a surge on Sunday curious though it was the 14 to 18 year olds so what were they doing on Sunday that would cause just that group and it's likely because the younger group are in the primary and uh, being in the primary you're not they probably have them separated to protect them better whereas the older group are in the like, smaller classrooms with the poor air circulation and thinking they're all cool not wearing masks but, uh, yeah we're still getting over a thousand per day even though the percentage is dropping which tells me that because we're not seeing a change in the number of people getting infected 
that the people who are going in to be tested are either being tested on a regular basis to make sure that they don't get it so that they can go to work like government jobs or other jobs that are requiring their employees be tested when they go in or which can happen in here in Utah can it we got paranoid people who are like scared if uh, they sense a slight temperature increase so but uh, there you have it there's the vote today all Mormon House of Representatives betray America.